Hey everyone! So today I am going to show you and walk you through my virtual art gallery about the development of architecture of Shinto temples. So before we enter, I just wanted to give you some background information. So Shinto means the way of kami, which is deeply rooted in prehistoric Japanese religious and agricultural practices. The term kami can refer to Japanese mythological deities, but can mean manifested in natural objects, places, animals, and even human beings. Shinto ri rituals and celebrations stress harmony between the deities, man, and nature, which is a key component in Japanese religion. So some intro is the architecture of thousands of Shinto shrines in Japan varies depending on geographic locations, worship, and that the date of the foundation. The earlier Shinto shrines tend to be simpler or less decorative than those which came after the introduction of Buddhism and Chinese architecture styles. Later shrines are brightly painted and have more scriptural elements but there are mainly common features throughout all periods. So this picture you see here is just a Shinto shrine. It's made out of wood, it was in 1748. So some general features are the buildings of the Shinto shrine are typically built using wood, especially Sinopress, which may be left plain or painted. You would typically see any nails or glue as the wood cut and fit, and it fits into joints. Wooden columns are either set directly into the ground or in the majority of the cases sit on stone base. The wall panels between columns and posts are made of wood, paneling, clay, or plaster spread over a thin bamboo framework. Many shrines were built with thick mud brick walls and then plastered to try to stay safe from fires. So as you can see here, this is the Fujise Hong Senjin Taisha building and it is made out of wood and all those other products that I told you about. Some shrine buildings are highly decorative while others can be very subtle. The architecture has upturned gables and uses a bright red paint and decorative elements. Roofs are always commonly used with hip and gabel design or any dramatic forms. Some shrines have V-shaped protection from the ridge pole of the roof, which then supports underneath the original wooden buildings. Roofs have a wide variety of protection, including ceramic tiles, sheet copper, copper shale, cedar shale, and bark. Decorative features adds to many temple sites, including streamers, lanterns, and animal statues. Thick twists of rope are hung in various places by the buildings, and many shrines are regularly rebuilt and or refurbished on average every 20 years or so in a process known as chinkening sigu. So this building here is the Tori Fujimi Inriel Shrine, which is made out of gold, wood, and from the 9th century. Here's just a different view of some of these images I have on the walls.
So some secondary buildings that they like to have are used for and made out of a stone water trough and front for ritual cleansing of worshiping or worshiping their hands and mouth. The basin may take the form of a dragon, which is a water deity in the Shinto. This is times where they can have ritual dancing and music. The karyo is covered and has a walkway which extends around the inner sacred area of the shrine. Some architectural styles is the shimizikuro, which is the style that imitates the wood rice storage buildings of Jap Japan's period, which are known by their appearance on such artifacts as bronze mirrors. They are built on raised shields, have round poles with paneling for walls, and a gable roof. Teisha Zurakura. This is one of the oldest styles with a front step and roofed entrance set to the right side. The roof gable extends at the front of the entrance and has encircles the building. Nagari Zurakuri is the most common style with the roof being asymmetrical and gently upward curving. The entrance is at the side of the wide entrance below the overhanging roof, which extends out of the entrance side. Hachiman Zerakiai is the style of two buildings that are placed side by side so that their roofs are almost touching. In between is a narrow connecting building acting as a covered corridor. So here you can see the Karagadin at the Ayasol Grand Shrine. And here's another, which is the Hondu Izumutesha. Important shrines. The most important Shinto shrine is the Isil Grand Shrine in profession, which is dedicated to the amateur with a secondary shrine to the highest god. It was traditionally founded in 4 BC. This is a mirror which the gods had used to tempt out of her self-imposed impersonment in the cave following her disgust at her brother's behavior. The second most important shrine in Japan is that of Akumashu. It's the foundation data and is known but is the shrine and mentioned in both. The shrine gave its name to this stool of agricultural which imitates its shrine buildings. Thank you for watching.